In this video I'll be putting a photo in text. So I'm going to be using this picture of a dog that I found on Pixabay. And then clicking on the text tool I'm going to tap anywhere on the screen and just type what word I want so I'm just going to type in dog. And then using the blue circles around the edges of it, I'm just going to drag that to make the word bigger. And then I'm just going to highlight the word I'm going to change the lettering. So I'm using this one just because it's a little bit bolder. And while it's highlighted, I'm going to change the colour to white. And then I'm just going to make that bigger again. And then on the text tool, I'm going to click on positioning. And then on the tracking slider, I'm going to bring that down and that's just going to bring the letters closer together. Which means that more of the picture is going to be able to be seen through the, the letters. And then I'm going to drag the picture of the dog on top of the lettering. And then clicking on just the picture of the dog, I'm going to resize it. And then I'm just going to move it all as a group, just to make that bigger again. And now I want to add a background, so I'm adding a pixel layer. And I'm going to bring that to the very bottom. Then using the fill tool, I'm going to go over to the elliptical. I'm going to bring the centre of it into the middle. And using the outer circles, I'm going to change the colour and I'm just using a light grey for this one. And then on the layer effects studio, I'm going to click outer shadow. And then I'm going to bring the radius up and the intensity up. And also the opacity. And then the offset is just going to change the direction of the shadow. I'm then going to add an inner shadow and do kind of the same thing with the outer shadow. So I'm going to bring the radius up and the offset up and the opacity. And 
and then I'm going to click on 3D and I'm just going to bring the radius up on that again. And I'm going to bring up softens just so the edges aren't as harsh. <laughs> 